Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 26th of March to the 30th of March 2018. As always, what we're going to do, starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of markets looking at the key areas of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to look at some of the targets coming up in the week and also for the weeks ahead. Now, just quickly before we get started, I just want to say to you all that we have a very big announcement coming up fairly soon so keep your eyes out for it i think you all love it it's going to be something that we've been working on for quite a while now putting into place uh, and we're going to be launching it fairly soon so keep an eye out for it because it's quite exciting stuff so with that said let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week starting with the us dollar index now one thing to note straight away with the us dollar index is we have for the last three weeks uh, well, certainly actually since the beginning of since we came back after Christmas, we've actually been in a big range. OK, but over the last three weeks, this range has contracted very, very tightly. And there's been a huge lack of movement really in the US dollar over the last three weeks. So this has made for very tough trading conditions. And actually, one of the things we teach in the room is when you get into these kind of conditions, start to limit your trading a little bit um, and waiting for the market to start really moving and giving volatility again. Uh, as you can, you want to be applying capital really to the market more when it's moving than when it's stuck in a range. So we still trade, but we just trade a little bit lighter. But certainly you can see over the last three weeks, it's kind of been bouncing around the key area of support and resistance of the 89.66. And we actually start the week below the 89.66. So it's very, very straightforward this week. We're looking for a pullback. And we, we had this sell off, didn't we, from the FOMC. Now, we did discuss in the FOMC analysis last week, one of the reasons we may get a sell off, okay, and a weakening of the dollar instead of a strengthening of the dollar on FOMC, if they allude to the fact that they may only be looking at three rate hikes this year, not four. And that was the kind of message we were getting out of the FOMC. So we saw the dollar sell off as people pulled their money out. So very simply put, going into this week, we start the week below the 89.66. Therefore, we're looking for a possible pullback and a retest of this area. And anywhere in this area is going to be a place to start to look for shorts in the US dollar index. And we're looking to the downside here in the US dollar index. We're looking down towards the key area of support down here, which happens to be the bottom of the range since coming back after Christmas or so since January. And we're looking down into this area at the 88.56. So we go into next week with a fairly bearish view on the US dollar index. But just bear in mind that there is a risk we stick in this range, perhaps even for another week. Uh, but as we start the week below the 89.66, we're looking for bearish moves, declines in the US dollar index as a higher probability move next week. Next, we have oil. Now, last week we were started the week just above the 61.93 and we said we were looking for a pullback somewhere in this area and we were looking up towards the next target up here at 63.87. You can see we actually came straight through the 63.87 and when we came into the midweek analysis last Wednesday, we were actually sitting in this area. And so very simply put, we're just looking for a pullback. Down, back down towards broken resistance turning support in this area. You can see we came very close. We did get this pullback. We didn't quite tag broken resistance as support, but we did get a nice deep pullback and we started to move up towards the next gear of resistance, the upside 66.54. Now, going into this week, it's a bit late to get back involved in this up to the 66.54 unless we get another pullback and a possible retest of broken resistance turning support in this area, in which case this would be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if you get those patterns and you get this kind of price action next week, we're going to be looking up towards the next key area of resistance, the upside at 66.54. And if we can get a break through here, just as we got over here, we're going to be looking for the next target to the upside and the next key area of resistance at the 69.11. Next, we have euro dollar. Now, euro dollar as well, just because of the US dollar, which has barely moved, you can see we've had a choppy couple of weeks or a choppy few weeks in the euro dollar as well. Now, going into this week, though, we do have a fairly 
decent looking setup okay and this if we're going to see a decline to the bottom of the range in the US dollar index we should be seeing the euro dollar pushing to the upside now you can also see that we start the week above the 1.23301 and so very simply put if we get a pullback anywhere into this area this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and if we get those bullish formations and patterns we're going to be looking up towards the first target to the upside at the 1.24461 and if we can get a break through here like this then we're going to be looking up towards the next target next key of resistance to the upside and target two at the 1.25224 Next, we have the British pound US dollar. Now, we started last week breaking above the key area of resistance at the 1.3928. And we were sitting right in this area. We said that this is a great place to start to as we begin the week, start to look for bullish formations and patterns, looking for longs up towards the next key area of resistance and the first target at the 1.4066. And you can see we came straight up to that. And we pulled back a bit and we ended up actually breaking through here. And we now currently sit just above this going into next week. So any kind of pullback into this area, preferably a retest of broken resistance turning support. And this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next target and the next key area of resistance to the upside at the 1.4337. Next, we have the US dollar Japanese yen. Now, last week we started the week sitting below the key area of broken support, turning resistance to the 106131. And we said that this would be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. You can see we did actually break it a little bit higher. So we had a quite a deep test of the resistance area here, but as you can see, there was no support. It just continued down. So it tested this very deeply and then it started to sell off. We came down and we took out the first target to the downside of the 105.183 down in this area. And you can see we actually start the week down below the key area of broken support turning resistance at the 105.270. So very simply put, going into this week, we're just looking for a pullback and a retest of this broken support area turning resistance. And this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we see those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the next key area support to the downside and target one at the 104.331. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down to the next key area support and target two to the downside at 103.360. Next, we have Aussie dollar. Now, last week in Aussie dollar, we did actually come down and tag the target. We were very close to the actual key area of support from last week um, when we started the week. And we bounced from this all the way up, as you can see, off the back of FOMC. And then we just kind of crashed back down. So again, tough trading in these kind of markets with the dollar involved because of the choppiness of the US dollar index. But going into this week, we start the week below the key area of support and resistance, a broken support here, turning resistance fairly deeply at the 0 0.77157. And so what we'd like to see going into next week is perhaps even a further push down, okay, and then a pull back. If we can get a retest of broken support over here, turning resistance, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside at the 0 0.76341. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the second key area of support to the downside in target two at the 0 0.75541. Next, we have the New Zealand dollar. Now, last week we started the week fairly close to the target and next key area of support to the downside 0 0.71876. Uh, we had a pullback and we traded into this level before bouncing off the FOMC and forming this kind of continuation pattern as well. So especially as we're looking preferably at or potentially I should say for US dollar weakness next week we're very simply just looking for a pullback uh, possibly even another test of this key area of support and if we get that kind of price action this is going to be a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and if we get those kind of bullish formations and patterns we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key of resistance to the upside and target one at the 0 0.73316. And if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key of resistance to the upside and target two at the 0 0.74314. Next, we have US dollar franc. Now, last week we started the week up here and we were looking for a pullback towards broken resistance turning support in this area and you see we did get that pullback and we actually traded up into the target from last week it was fairly tight though because these levels were fairly close together 
and we bounced from the key area of resistance and last week's target after running into it here uh, on the FOMC and we broke back down below the key area of now broken support turning resistance at the 0 0.94891. So very simply put, going into this week, we're simply looking for in the area where we are now bearish formations and patterns. And if we start to see these bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating shorts down towards the next key area of support and target one to the downside at 0 0.94211. And if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at 0 0.92923. Next, we have the US dollar CAD. Now, last week we were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 1.29918. But you can see there were no patterns in this area. I mean, there was nothing to suggest that this was going to bad. This came straight through and this failed as support and actually started to push some downside off the back of FOMC. Now, very simply put, going into this week, we start the week below this key area of broken support, looking for it to turn resistance potentially. But if we can get a pullback anywhere into this area, preferably a retest of broken resistance or broken support, I should say here, turning resistance, that would be great. And we can start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And if we start to get those bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target one at 1.27516. And of course, if we can get a break through here, we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support to the downside and target two at the 1.26325. And finally, we have gold. Now, last week we started the week down in this area and we were looking for a final test of the support down here at the 1307.25. There wasn't a huge amount of room, but we did come down and tag target one in this key area of support. And you can see we rallied from this key area of support at the 1307.25 last week. Now we came straight back above the previous key area of resistance, the 1329.53. And as a result, we start the week above here in this area. So very simply put, we're looking for a pullback in this area somewhere, possibly even a retest of broken resistance turning support, but any pullback in this area, and we're going to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those patterns, we're going to be looking at initiating longs up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target one at the 1357.29. And of course, if we get a break through here, we're going to be looking up towards the next key air resistance to the upside and target two at the 1374.25. So that is it from me for this week, guys. Just a quick reminder before we wrap up here that we do have an amazing announcement coming your way fairly soon. So keep your eye out for that. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big, big thank you to all of you who do that on a regular basis. All of you who have already subscribed so far as well. Thank you. So the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you all have a great week next week. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.